Well, we're back, and today we're going to be exploring DJtronic. But first, I'm going to let you know that one of our subscribers actually requested this video, and there are certain advantages to subscribing to our channel, such as uh, Thomas and I will actually get together and make a video to suit a sp specific request for our subscribers, some of which contain information that is not readily or easily available anywhere. And so our subject matter today uh, would be the, the entire component tree of Bosch DJtronic injection. And we're going to have a two-part video. In the first part, we're going to use this 280SE 4.5 that is currently getting an engine rebuild as a uh, model for our, uh, for our video. So, without further ado, the parts of the DJtronic system and how they work. The first item that is that everybody should know about is the DJtronic control unit. And uh, each one has a unique number depending on the model it goes with. For example, the Bosch number for the one in the 280SE 4.5 ends with the digits 002, 005. If you have a 280SE 3.5, it ends with 002, 004. This is a fairly simple control unit compared to some of the items that are in modern cars, but it is definitely a robust and intelligent piece of equipment. It also has a nice little adjuster wheel on the side of it, and uh, what this is for is to, uh, to, to tell the DJtronic control unit what mixture values you want the car to run out. Anyway, this wonderful little thumb wheel can be adjusted to the left or right to control the overall uh, mixture of the engine uh, on the fuel side. So, just as important to the DJtronic system as the computer is, you have this other part called the manifold absolute pressure sensor. And the manifold absolute pressure sensor is designed to use engine vacuum to uh, tell the computer how long to keep the injectors open for. And these guys often, when they, when they start to age, they, they send a rich signal to the engine computer, and the engine computer sort of uh, richens up, fattens up the fuel mixture so they get more fuel, and that's why so many of these cars get 11, 12, 12.5 miles per gallon. Now, these, these sensors are dependent on engine manifold vacuum. And to work optimally, you need to have at least 15 inches of vacuum and drive with the engine warm. If you have less than that, then this MAP sensor is going to tell the, the fuel control to send too much fuel into the engine. So uh, the next thing you should know about, we've got a couple of, of nice little parts here that, that are very important to the operation of this system. The first one at the very, let's see here, very bottom, where'd you go? I know you're down here, I can feel it. first one here at the very bottom is the uh, is the DJtronic control uh, relay and without this guy the computer will never turn on and you will not have any power to the entire system. The second one, they're both supposed to be bolted to the screen, but the second one uh, is the, uh, is the uh, fuel pump relay and the fuel pump relay goes in the bottom, the, the, the DJtronic relay goes in the top, and without it, the fuel pump won't turn on. It takes its power from this control unit. Uh, the way that you know the, the DJtronic control relay is it's got a single wire sticking into the side of it that comes from the battery, and uh, the fuel pump relay doesn't. Otherwise, they look the same. So you use this single wire to differentiate the, uh, the DJtronic control relay from the fuel pump relay. Now, 
The other important part of, of this system are the injectors. And these little guys use a specific amount of power to stay open for 25 second, 0.25 second, 0.5 second, one whole second, depending on where the, uh, or how far the throttle is applied and how fast the engine is turning and how much manifold vacuum is, is, uh, is going in. And um, they're, they are timed by a set of trigger points in the distributor, which you will look at on DJtronic car number two, a 1975 280SL. One other very important part is the throttle position switch. This takes input from the throttle as you activate it. The switch moves and the further you move it, uh, the more it, it tells the computer to open the injectors. So if you don't have a healthy or working throttle switch, you'll get bucking or you'll get a loss of power at a specific throttle position and the, the car will be driving along, driving along, and then you'll get to 50 miles an hour or 30 miles an hour, and then it'll just fall flat on its face. And uh, what, what is happening there is the throttle position switch has stopped communicating with the computer, and that's when you get, when you get uh, messed up injector pulse times and you get a total loss of power. Now some other things that you should be familiar with on this. We've got some wiring harness material to look at and uh, everybody should know what other what other sensors are involved with the DJtronic system so so this wiring harness is a separate wiring harness and it is it's sort of like the uh, the most important one of the most important or important organs in the system without a without the wiring harness having good continuity between the end of the plug and the computer then the computer will not take all the information it needs from the uh, injection trigger points, the MAP sensor, the engine temperature sensor, the air temperature sensor, which we'll see on car number two, and it will not be able to send them back to the injectors, which are these plugs right here. Anyway, those are the major components of DJtronic. This is where they're located on a W108. Now what we're going to do is we're going to explore the application a little bit on a W107-280SL, which is a rarity in and of itself, uh, and we hope you'll stay with us for the next video. In the meantime, enjoy driving your Mercedes-Benz, and to get more exciting videos like this that contain information that nobody knows about, subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.